first time I had a girlfriend, I was in sixth grade. And her name was Heather. And I th- it was like a... I think it was like a boy and girl party or whatever. We kind of first started dating. You know what I mean? Like, I was like, oh, we should be boyfriend yeah. and girlfriend. She's like, okay. Oh, cute. So Saturday, I go to our local little drugstore and buy her. I had maybe $15 of my entire life. Mm-hmm. For $10, I bought her a little chain. You know what I mean? I was going to give it to her, get, give it to her Monday. Yeah. And Monday, I'm sitting in our very first class. And I remember, like, yesterday, I'm sitting there, and we had those big heaters. They were, like, giant they looked like coffins almost. They were giant heaters in the room. Okay. I'm sitting on the access that the cool kids did before the teacher got there. Yeah. And Heather's friend, Aaron, comes in. She goes, Heather wants to break up with you. I'm like, <gasps> no problem. Whatever. And so I put the necklace on. I wore it <laughs> like on a spite because it was my. Did you I had, point to it I had and it say, my, this could have been you? No, but I had it in my pocket like I was going to give it to her. I just oh. hadn't seen her yet that morning. And she walks in, stone faced, looks at me. She goes, Heather wants to break up with you. I'm like, no problem. Elena, don't you just die when he tells you these stories? <laughs> it was because of what you know he looked like. And like, you could see how his face probably looked yeah, when she said glasses. that. You knew it was going to be years <laughs> before somebody was dumb enough to date me again. I'm pretty sure she's like, oh, it's fine. I'll wear this necklace myself. It's bad, man. Sad. Okay, so I remember. Like it was yesterday. By too. the way, it's a lot of fun to have you guys laughing at all of the bad things that happened to me before I was 25. So it was our middle school dance and all of my friends went and then they were all going to sleep over at my house. And Peter Blankenship was there. Ooh, last and names. He's so hot. And um, I was like, I'm just going to try. I'm going to try. You don't get what you don't ask for. And so I said, hey, you want to dance? And then when we were dancing, I kind of just said, do you want to be my boyfriend? And he had nowhere to go. Couldn't run. And he wasn't so prepared he said, for that question, was he? He said, sure. So that was like the last dance of the night. My yeah. dad's waiting outside with our conversion van. All the girls load in. <laughs> we drive back to my parents' house. We get in our pajamas. This is like maybe 45 minutes later. My dad's like, yells downstairs, you have a phone call. So we all go into the laundry room and we're all sitting there. Big red phone. My parents had a big red rotary phone. So I pick it up. And I'm like, hello? And it was Alex Sacco, Peter's best friend. Yeah, he sounds like a sidekick. <laughs> he, did. he was like this, yeah, string beanie kind of guy. I'll do it. I'll do it for you, Peter. So he goes, uh, hey, so you know how you started dating Peter? And I'm like, yes. Like an hour ago? <laughs> yes. It's happened. <laughs> we are currently boyfriend and girlfriend. He goes, yeah, he doesn't want to date you anymore. And all my girlfriends are around me. I'm dating the hottest guy in middle school. Were they supportive or laughy? It got silent, silence all over the laundry room. Nobody talked for like a good 25 minutes. We just went back into the living room and just sat there. And then and then the night continued. But I was like, what a what a jerk move. You couldn't call me yourself. You had my number, obviously. Peter. <laughs> He's not on Facebook, by the way. 